Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. But today we're going to do something a little bit different. I have decided to design the dream undercard for the upcoming Logan Paul and KSI fight. Um, I loved the last one. It was great. I really enjoyed uh, the potential of seeing guys that I do not like get their heads kicked in. And I think we all enjoyed that part of it. However, just because it was a success, it does not mean it cannot be made better. Um, and being someone who is right into their combat, has got an analytical mind, and who does also watch a lot of YouTube, I feel like I'm ideally placed to suggest some improvements. So what I've done is come up with the dream undercard that would make the event a whole lot better. It features more fights, and it also features fights with women as well, because I think that was something that was missing last time, a few little cat fights. So sit back, strap in, and I'm going to take you through what would be the best best ever YouTube boxing undercard. Right, we're going to start off with Will N.E. because a lot of you have been tweeting me suggesting that I have a boxing match with Will N.E. Uh, to be quite honest with you, that would not be fair. You know, I may as well be arrested for murder. However, obviously, you do want to see Big Will fight. So I've been putting my mind to try and think of an opponent and it's been quite difficult because Will won't mind me saying this. He's not really about that life. So to find someone on the same kind of athletic footing, combat footing as him, um, has been a challenge. However, I did have a revelation and I realised that the perfect opponent was staring me right in the face. His little sidekick, Stephen, tries. Kind of like Batman fighting Robin, if neither of them can actually fight. And I know what you're probably thinking, Stephen tries is very small, you know, he's as small as the day he was born. However, he is a ginger, which will give him a combat advantage, because most gingers throughout their schooling life have had to kind of stick up for themselves, because they get quite heavily bullied, teased, and um, just normally kind of ostracised, basically. So Stephen tries, I think, would have enough about him to kind of negate that height difference, uh, but probably not enough aggression to actually seriously harm Will, which is something I wouldn't want to happen. So that would be a great lineup for me on the undercard. Will and E versus Stephen Tries. Right, next up, Keemstar. We absolutely need to get Keemstar involved in the boxing. I mean, he is Mr. YouTube. If he's not the face of it, he is most certainly the voice of it. So Keemstar needs a fight. Now, choosing an opponent for Keemstar has been difficult because there's a lot of people that he's had controversy with, people who want to fight him. But then there's also the kind of age difference. You know, it's it's yeah, it's just the truth that he is 36, 37 years old. He's an elder statesman of YouTube. So it wouldn't be fair to put him up against a a 20-year-old young buck. Um, after much kind of thought, I have come up with the perfect solution. Tommy C from Shot From The Point. Now, both of them used to do a podcast together called Baited, and it was a great success, but they fell out, and there's been animosity between them ever since, and Tommy is also a guy who is in his late 30s, maybe his 40s, and there is real beef there, real aggression, um, and both of them are quite short. So physically, they would be perfectly matched up. So for me, that's what I'd like to see. Keemstar versus Tommy C from Shot From The Point. And my money would be on Tommy because he served in the military. Okay, I think it's time to introduce the ladies at this point. We're going to need our first all-female showdown. I'm very excited about this. I think two females battling it out in the ring, giving it their all in the physical sense, would add a whole new dimension to this boxing thing. So for the first showdown, I would have Tana Mojo versus Celestia Vega. Yeah, we'd have a showdown of the slots. I think both of them would give it their all. They'd be totally motivated and it could descend into all-out war. Um, to motivate them, we could have a prize for the victor. You know, a, a guy with a particularly nice penis or something who'd give one of them a darn good seeing to after they'd finished. And no, I'm not suggesting me. I mean, I'm average down there at best. And also, I've got a healthy respect for venereal disease. But, you know, we could hire some guy and I'm sure it would motivate them. You know, they would be literally tearing each other's faces off to get to him. So that would be the first female boxing match and it would be a sight to behold. Right, in every good dramatic event, you need a showdown. A showdown between good and evil. You know, the forces of light versus the forces of darkness. A dirty clickbaiting spasmoid 
versus a good hardworking YouTuber. So for the forces of darkness, we have chosen an incredibly annoying middle class YouTuber called Touch That Light, who clickbaits paedophilia and filthy stuff like that. And he is going to be facing off against Mr. Cam Kirkham, uh, probably one of the most talented and best new YouTubers on the scene. My money is going to be on Cam Kirkham because he's from the North, the North remembers. Although physically, they are fairly similar, both quite tall and thin, so it would be a perfect showdown. Right, next up is a very controversial decision for me. Now, I want everyone to feel as included as impossible. I want it to be an all-inclusive event. And that means giving the little beta males a chance, you know, the little gamers, the people who would probably have a heart attack if they actually stepped in a boxing ring. I want them to feel included in the event. So I'm going to push the kind of the kings of the beta males from America and England and pit them against each other. So from America, we've got Leafy, the kind of emo little lumpa lumpa, the king of not showing his face, the guy who chats shit behind the computer screen, versus the pretender to the crown from England, George Mimulus, who has come along and filled a leafy shaped hole. Now, neither of them are comfortable showing their face and neither of them would be comfortable in the boxing ring. They'd probably trip over on the way there. So what I propose to them is we set up a little table in the boxing ring and they can play like magic or something and have a little showdown against each other. Thus, we are then including all the kind of more geeky people, all the beta males who aren't going to like the fighting. They're also included in the event. So we've got Leafy versus Mimulus. Right, next stop, it's time for a polar opposite from beta males to as alpha as you can get. It is time for me to name my opponent. Now, obviously, this lineup is not going to happen, so I've let my mind run free with this. I could fight anyone I wanted. I've looked around on the YouTube scene, and the only person I can see out there who's kind of a big alpha male like myself would be the true Geordie. Now, obviously, I've got no intention or real wish to fight him because he's a nice bloke and I've met him, but if we're going for dream boxing lineups, it's gotta be me against the true Geordie, the two most alpha males on YouTube showdown against each other. Um, obviously, he's probably got me on the power. You know, the guy is thick and please don't think I'm insulting his intelligence there. You know, I am complimenting his body. He's built well. Um, I've gone for a different approach. I've gone for height and speed. So you'd see very, very contrasting approaches. You know, if he landed, he probably knocked me down, but would he be able to land before he got tired out? Because, you know, I'm fast. Um, so I think the fans would love it. It would be the ultimate showdown. Right, next up, we have a massive clash. This would be life-changing. It's almost like a popularity contest. It would be two different sides of YouTube against each other. On one hand, representing the kind of sarcastic, angry, uh, funny side of YouTube, we would have I dubs. On the other side, representing the kind of desperate, flex, uh, kind of annoying spasmoid side, we would have rice gum. It would be a match to remember. Now, I know what you're thinking. Neither of them look kind of particularly physically gifted, but you need to put that out of your mind for this clash because it would go off. It would be off the hook, honestly. You look into I dubs' eyes, and you can see there's a tenuous grip on reality there. That man is ready to lose it at any point. You can tell that there is a kind of a, a feralness to him. He would fight like an angry weasel if he needed to. And Rice Gum has got absolutely no standards. He does nothing that he would not stop at to be popular and relevant. So he would be bang up for winning this boxing match. The two of them against each other would be a sight to behold. And I think I-Dubs' kind of animalistic anger would take the biscuit. Well, I'd hope it would, but I'd love to watch it. Right, we need another all-female belt because we're all about equality here in the corner. Now, for this next one, it was very difficult. I was kind of racking my brains to come up with two females from YouTube that I want to see fight. Um, I've decided to go for probably the two most annoying females on YouTube. Um, I've gone for Sniper Wolf versus Lele Pons. Now, both of them are quite similar. Both of them seem to have something wrong with them. I mean, I've watched a few of Sniper Wolf's recent videos, um, and it's like she's had a stroke or something. She can barely be asked to move her mouth when she talks. And Lele Pons, I mean, to think she's funny, you've got to be pissed or mental, so she's obviously got something wrong with her. So, Sniper Wolf versus Lele Pons, up against each other in the ring, um, and hopefully... 
both of them can lose somehow. Right, we're reaching the end now. We're going to have one more fight. Um, obviously, the big fight on the bill is always going to be KSI versus Logan Paul. You know, they've earned that right now to be top of the bill. They need to show down against each other, and we do actually need a winner this time. Uh, but for one last fight, I've decided to go for uh, two bigger YouTubers, uh, people who you wouldn't expect to fight. So we're going to go for... PewDiePie versus Jacksepticeye. Um, I'm not quite sure what this would kind of, how it would go down in the ring. I mean, neither of them would be comfortable in the boxing ring. Um, both of them would need to kind of find their masculinity a little bit, stop dyeing their hair and start training. Um, but I think it could be interesting. Obviously, it may well descend into little Fortnite dances and stuff and little meme battles and stuff. But I think once they started punching and they took a bit of physical damage, they'd quit all that crap and we'd actually see a proper boxing match. And that's what I'd like. Uh, for my money, um, PewDiePie's going to win this one. There's a lot of aggression there. I mean, it just keeps popping out of him, doesn't it, at the most opportune moments. So I think PewDiePie would take Jacksepticeye. And then we would move on to the main event where hopefully KSI would kick the living crap out of bloody Logan Paul. Well, that's what we're all hoping for, isn't it? Let's be honest. Right, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you've got any better suggestions to me or you disagree with my choices, do let me know in the comments below. I do read them. If you enjoyed the video, please do take the time to leave a like. If you didn't, please do take the time to leave a dislike. I just want your honest opinions. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be back with you again soon.